All right, so let's take a look at what would happen if we went the other way. What would happen if we uh, were given a Z or an area and we wanted to actually find the Z value? So you notice right here it says find the Z value. So, so now we're going completely the other direction. Um, we're going back to, um, we're going to, you know, use the area under the curve to find the Z value, to find the standardized score. So let's break this down and talk about it a little bit first. Um, so we have between this location and this location right here, we have a total area or percentage of 2123, also known as 21.23 percent. All right, so remember though, as we build upon this, before we go look at table E, table E tells me the area from a z-score all the way to the left, all of this area, not just to zero, not just to the mean, all the way to the left. And so what we have to think about here is, is that we know that when we talk about symmetry, we know that um, symmetry-wise that 50% of our graph occurs over here and 50% of our graph occurs over here. Sorry, I was having a little technical difficulty there. So we know that this is 50% and this over here, all of this is 50%. So what we're going to essentially do is, is that we're going to take that 21.23% 21, 21 and we're going to add 50 to it. And we know that now we're looking at a total of 71.23%. So from this z-score all the way is my 71.23. That's my 71.23%. Okay, remember we convert that back to a decimal. That gives me 0.7123. Now that, that is the percentage. That is the area or the percent that I'm going to go and find on my table E. So let's go find that. All right, so I'm um, back over here. We had our area or our percent we're looking for under the curve was 7123. So if, if I went to the negative Z table, the negative portion, you'll notice that if you look at these areas inside of here, the largest area is 0.5. Because if I traveled from 0 to the mean, that would represent 50%. Well, remember, I'm looking for 0.7123. So that's not going to occur in this table because I'm looking for something greater than the mean. So we come to the positive side. You'll notice here that the smallest percentage is 50% because if I came just to the mean, that means that I'm 50%. So anything to the right of that, anything greater is going to be greater than 50%. So we're looking for 7123. So we start scanning through. There's 7019, 7054, and there it is, 7123. So remember, we're going in reverse order. We're looking for the standardized score. So we, we still take our piece of paper or our straight edge, whatever you're using, and we identify and find out that our z-score for this percent or area under the normal distribution curve would be 0 0.56. That would be the standardized score that was represented by that particular area. So just to bring us back to the last problem there, you know, we bring that percentage back over and we find out that, you know, that is the z-score for that particular value right there. And that z-score would be equal to 0.56.